Hey YouTube, John, Common Sense Outdoors. Today I want to talk to you about a container very useful for survival situation that is free. You may have it, you may be able to get it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera on the stump here and uh, show you the container and talk about it for a minute. Hope you enjoy. Some people probably recognize that container. I'm trying to tripod down a little closer. Okay, so yes, it's a cheap thing. Whether it's bad for you or not, is regardless because this container is very useful for starters. I have about 10 feet of electrical tape wrapped around the edge. Then, if we open it up, let's see what we got in there. First thing is in the lid, there's a razor blade. When I put the duct tape in, I fold it over a corner so that you can get underneath it. Pull that right out. Next thing is, the lid is tin. The rest of it is plastic. Pull that piece of tape off. We have a hole. Why would we have a hole? Let's see what else. Talk about that again in a second. A couple of cotton balls. Just keep things from rattling. Or great for starting a fire. We have about six feet of 120 pound bank line. Two safety pins, rubber bands, three of those. Just dump this. And what's left in there is 25 feet of 50 pound wire for snares. If you haven't seen my video on how to make 20 snares for $1.67 that's how much wire that is 25 feet <clears throat> then we have an assortment of screws small nail three eyelet screws two L screws those are in my fishing kit other other great uses besides just a fishing kit uh, these actually if you got one a little bit bigger work great for all and out a hole in wood if you're, you're carving on something and you want to carve a netting needle or something you need to put a hole to get get in there to carve it get get one of these that's a little bit bigger it works great for an all plus multiple other uses obviously now back to the hole in the lid and another thing is is the container could obviously be used to store sap for fires some moss any kind of dry tinder you want to keep dry in case it's raining you could use the container for that another another thing that's cool about this lid and the hole in it is if in your kit somewhere you put in one of these five and a half hour candles great great item to have in your kit not, not just for light but to aid in starting your fire if I was to strike this cotton ball and get it started, I could light the candle, set it aside just in case I can't get my fire fire going off that cotton ball. I still have flame. But the bad thing about the candle is how's it going to sit there? So, you drill a hole in the bottom of the candle. You take one of the screws out of your container, put it through the hole. And you just twist it right into the candle. And voila. 
Now you can take that candle, set it wherever you need. You, you want light for five minutes while you're getting ready to go to sleep, take it in there under your shelter with you, set it down. It's not going to tip over. You're good to go. So, free container. If you don't have them, you probably know somebody that will give you one or two. I have tons of them. Another nice thing about that container is if you were inclined to use a tin can in a survival kit for cooking, boiling water, whatever, these fit inside a corn size, corner vegetable size uh, can. So you could stack like four of these inside that can. So you could have one set up for snares, cordage for your snares, screws like I do. You could throw a broadhead in there if you wanted to. Or you could you could have another one with cotton balls with Vaseline if you want. There's just unlimited things you can do with this container and it's free. Something that's normally getting thrown away. You know, knowledge is king but probably close right behind that is containers containers makes your life easy in a survival situation okay that's all I have on the container hope you like the idea hope you liked the video check out my other videos like comment subscribe got more videos coming to you hopefully soon thank you